Yo, what is up guys? Stellboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, if you could smash that subscribe button, and also if you could hit the like, it really helps the channel out, and it goes a long way for channel growth. Anyway, today we are talking about heavyweight prospects, and today we will be covering the Cuban heavyweight prospect, Frank Sanchez. Frank Sanchez has a record of 15-0, 11 of those 15 wins come by way of knockout, he's an orthodox fighter, and he is listed as 6 foot 4 with a 78 inch reach. So he's a decent sized heavyweight. And his age allegedly is 27 years old. I say allegedly because the guy is Cuban. And he looks about 47 in all honesty. But regardless, Frank Sanchez does have a fairly extensive amateur background. He had many amateur fights. He was highly rated in Cuba. He fought in various tournaments, and in fact, on his amateur resume, he's actually got a win over the Cuban standout, Erislandi Savon. And Erislandi Savon has been a great amateur for the past 10 years or so. So that was a good win in the amateurs. And yeah, overall, Frank Sanchez, he certainly has that amateur pedigree. And also, he's made a pretty good start to the pro game. Like I said, he's a master record of 15-0 with 11 knockouts. Frank Sanchez, as a fighter, as a prospect, is certainly one to look out for, to be honest. He brings some interesting attributes to the table, he brings an interesting style to the table, and he certainly got some ability. I would say his style is more so a mover. He likes to use lateral movement, he likes to get behind his jab and keep range, you know? I guess you could say he's got that stereotypical Cuban style. And while that may not be to everyone's taste, it's certainly a unique style in today's heavyweight division. There's not all that many world-class movers in the heavyweight division. Of course, you've got Tyson Fury, who can fight that way. You've got guys like Alexander Yusek, who can deploy that style. And also guys like Michael Hunter. So yeah, that style does exist in the heavyweight division. But there's not too many guys who can use that style, so that in itself could be an advantage for Frank Sanchez. A lot of these guys he fights may not have seen that style before, so that could work in his advantage. But technically, Frank Sanchez is fairly sound. I like his jab. Sanchez keeps that lead hand low for the most part, and he'll fire that jab from low. When you fire a jab like that, it can be hard to read. And when you throw a jab like that with speed, it's certainly less telegraphed. And that's what Frank Sanchez does. He fires a quick jab from a low lead hand position. And that's an effective punch. He'll like to throw that right hand behind it. And he'll turn you, spin away, and keep the distance. Frank Sanchez also can mix it up when he wants to. For example, Frank Sanchez has a pretty good lead left hook. He'll basically, he'll feint the jab and come in with a lead left hook. He'll also hook off a jab. He's got a pretty nice right uppercut when people get close. So the guy can certainly throw more than a 1-2 when he gets creative. But his game is basically to keep it long. And he doesn't like to take unnecessary risks. But he can throw different shots when he wants to. And he can actually also open up and throw combinations when he wants to. And when he does... He throws these combinations with pretty good hand speed, in all honesty. He's got nice hand speed for a heavyweight, and he can actually throw pretty good combinations. But he really doesn't do it all that often, because like I say, he doesn't really like to take risks. Like I say, he's got that stereotypical Cuban style. And again, that's not for everyone's taste, and who knows, that could be to his detriment. But Frank Sanchez, he certainly brings some interesting attributes to the table... He brings an interesting skill set to the table, and he's certainly one to watch out for. Again, he does have his faults. First and foremost, I do kind of question his power. I know he's a guy who doesn't always like to commit to his shots, but when I have seen him set his feet and throw that right hand, sometimes it doesn't really seem to have that much effect. You know, I go back to that Jerry DeWaco fight. In that fight, he actually set his feet a few times, and landed that right hand, and it kind of just bounced off Joey DeWaco. I know DeWaco is tough, but still, if you're like an elite level prospect who can punch at heavyweight, I would expect you to maybe take DeWaco out, in all honesty. So I do question Frank Sanchez's power, 
And despite Frank Sanchez being a guy who doesn't take all that many risks, I see a guy who's open for an overhand right or a straight right hand, whatever you want to call it. I mentioned earlier he has like a low jab hand. And while that can be good for disguising your jab, it leaves you open for the right hand over the top. I think Sanchez's jab can be countered. When he fought a guy called uh, Bispal, Bispal was a overweight guy who really shouldn't have been fighting, but he found a home for his right hand over Frank Sanchez's jab hand, and that was a little bit worrying for me going forwards, you know, when Frank Sanchez fights one of these bigger guys who can throw a right hand, who can punch, how's that going to work out? I'm not entirely sure. So, ultimately, I do believe Frank Sanchez is a solid prospect, but there's a couple of issues I have, and a couple of concerns I have, mainly his power and that defensive floor with that low left hand. And again, we'll see how that pans out. But uh, going forwards, as I said, he's 15 and 0. I would like to see him start stepping up now, in all honesty. I liked the Dueco fight at the time. I thought that made sense. That was a pretty good test, I guess. I mean, in his next fight, I wouldn't mind seeing Frank Sanchez fight someone durable. You know, guys who can go rounds. Maybe someone like Johan Duharpus. I know Duharpus has seen better days at this point, but he's a big dude, he's got okay power, he's experienced, and he would certainly be the best name on Frank Sanchez's resume. So I believe Johan Duharpus would be like an ideal step-up fight for Frank Sanchez. Maybe even somebody like Christian Hammer. I think that would be another acceptable step-up for Frank Sanchez. These are the sort of guys I'm looking for for Frank Sanchez to fight next. Obviously, I would love to see Frank Sanchez in there with fellow prospects, maybe someone like F.A. Ajagba, a fellow PBC fighter. That would be a great fight, but I'm talking about realistically fights we could get, and from a matchmaking perspective, if I'm managing Frank Sanchez, that's what I would be looking for. Guys like Johan Duharpus and Christian Hammer, and after that, should he win, then maybe target someone like Gerald Washington or Robert Hellenius. That's what I would be trying to do with Frank Sanchez. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Cuban Frank Sanchez. Share your thoughts below. Ultimately, I think he's a solid prospect. Certainly not one of the worst prospects I've covered, but a guy who I'm not entirely sold on either. I guess I'm in the middle with Frank Sanchez. Share your thoughts below. Peace.